Hello, welcome to the field, the secret field, which isn't very secret. And the reason I'm incognito, down here on the floor, in cover, like an SAS operative, albeit a wimpy one, is because I came here a couple of days ago and over there by where you can see that sort of abandoned, I don't know, barn storage area, there was a van and a car there. So it's either the developers coming in from over there or it's the person that did own the farm. I think the farm's gone. Um, anyway, I've got no permission to be here. I hopped a fence to get here, although there is a gate open there, so um, it's it's not like I have a right to be here. So when I got here a couple of days ago, I scarpered, so I didn't want to interact with them. Today they're not here, but I'm keeping it on the down low, which is not easy to do when you've got some quads to test. And today I will be testing properly this HDRC GPS receiver on the, uh, the Batman 220. Um, I tested it in the garden, but all I could really do is check it got uh, sats, which it did. So out here I want to see if we get um, good GPS reception. When I change the battery I want to see if it can pick up the GPS satellites nice and quickly and, uh, and we'll see if GPS rescue mode works okay. And call me paranoid but just two minutes after recording that this other van appeared. Fortunately it drove through that field into another field. I still don't know if it's developers, farmers or what but they were in a different field so I was able to carry on. Okay so powering on and I want to know exactly how fast this GPS receiver is for getting satellites. And just coming up on three minutes, we eventually get to four satellites. And I thought, brilliant, it's got the four satellites from there. It's just a few seconds away from getting more. But no, nearly six minutes now, and we've finally got up to five satellites. But from there, it didn't get any different. I, I left it for over eight minutes, and it's stuck there on five. Now, I've actually seen this happen before, and what I did then was the same thing. It seems like being on the ground causes the sats not to lock in for whatever reason. And I noticed that if I then take off and fly around for sort of 30 seconds, suddenly my satellites will just come in. So that's exactly what I did. Now, in some cases, you will have to put a little CLI command in, which will let you be able to actually arm without getting a lock first. But yeah, within 30 seconds, I had eight sats, and by the time I landed, I had between 10 and 11 sats. So yeah, weird. I don't really understand why, but it, it's something that I've seen happen before. So obviously I didn't want to go through that every time. So I wanted to see how it would reacquire satellites. So what I've done here is just recorded me powering off and getting a new battery and plugging back in again. Look in real time. And uh, here's me plugging back in. And you should be able to see, whenever it gets there, our satellites, even though I'm holding a quite a bizarre angle, uh, do come in pretty quickly. Uh, the reason I'm shaking the quad about like this is basically because I haven't got it in the right sort of position where I can actually get to the battery properly. So <laughs> I actually end up uh, unplugging the battery and replugging it back in again uh, in order for me to get the optimal position. But yeah the satellites come back quickly. So after getting that battery sorted, we head up for a proper flight, this time with uh, eight satellites before we took off. So we got a proper fix and rescue modes available and you can see the satellites building up as we fly out a bit further. Um, I'm just doing my initial GPS rescue mode test here. It's a bit of a dim day, isn't it? It's hard to see, but the home arrow seems to be good. The uh, stuff in sort of speed and altitude and distance from home seems good. That's me flick it into rescue. As you can see, it jumps up in height uh, before it sort of starts to come down again. Obviously, I didn't let it get too close to me before I flicked it back out of rescue mode to check all was good. And we were working okay, but yeah, that seems good. And uh, we're picking up an, another satellite as you go. I, I think I ended up with about 14 by the time I'd done a couple of batteries. Um, and it seemed quite happy sort of pulling that many satellites fairly quickly. It, it does sort of go up and down as it goes, but the number in double figures seems fairly reasonable. Um, it's kind of what I wanted. It feels like every time I test GPS squad, I, I have to sort of repeat stuff about rescue mode and setting up and what you shouldn't, shouldn't do. So what I did, I wrote myself um, a blog post, which I stuck on my website. You can take a look at it here. So any questions towards setting up uh, GPS and setting up rescue mode. Take a look at that one. Hopefully it'll help and uh, answer some of the questions and it'll stop me having to uh, go on and on and repeat myself more. But yeah, essentially, uh, this seems to work quite nicely. We've got um, 
decent amounts of data coming through the satellites eventually do lock in as soon as you get it off the floor it seems home arrow all working good yeah fairly good little uh, signal going there so good success after i tested this enough times obviously i put my fail safe to uh, rescue mode as well although it, the battery in this quad means you know i'd never get beyond sort of four minutes really so it, it's not something that's going to be too far away by the time i get to sort of a kilometer it's time to come back again anyway so no big deal but anyway this has been the follow-up second part review of the hglrc m80 GPS receiver which fits nicely onto a 5 inch quad and uh, kindly supplied once again by HLRC and yet again there's links down below for where you can check this out if you need more details on it. Hope that's been helpful, I've really enjoyed getting back out and flying even if it's been a bit dim out there and uh, hope that's been helpful for you, I'll catch you in the next video, bye for now. Well you've made it to the end of the video so thanks once again for watching. If you like what you saw, then please consider subscribing. And if you really like what you saw, then be sure to check out the link to my blog for a variety of ways in which you can help support this channel.